Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So, to mix it up, I thought today I'm gonna do a fresh Q&A video. Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle ask you guys on Instagram if you had any questions and I got quite a few so let me get them here are all your questions I haven't looked at them yet so I'm just gonna go through and pick a few here and there and try to answer as many as possible what is your opinion about drinking alcohol so I personally never really started to drink I had like a few drinks when I was actually very young like 14 15 and we went out a lot on the weekends and for some reason it just never really was never really my thing i never like felt drawn to it and then i started traveling on my own when i was 15 which sounds so young when i think about it now but i just never wanted to you know be in like dangerous situations i always really wanted to have control over everything and can get into a lot of trouble when you don't care take care of yourself so yeah for me drinking was never a thing and then over the years you know i have lots of friends who don't drink uh, however pear is drinking he loves his wine um so i feel like you know we balance each other out <laughs> period update are you still getting your period yes so i'm about to get it now any day and i have been getting it every month since i got it back after five years if you haven't watched my video about how i got my period back you can uh, i link it down below not regular 28 day cycle yet but i feel like with every time i'm getting closer to i'm getting closer to a 28 day cycle which is great um but yeah i'm really really happy it has been consistent and um everything seems to be fine <laughs> all right um how can i deal with water retention so i personally especially the days before getting my period i feel like i retain a lot of water in my legs and my legs feel very heavy i haven't really figured it out yet to be honest what to do to get rid of it but a few things i do is i take epsom salt bath so i put my magnesium flakes or epsom salt in my um, hot bath and that really helps um to get rid of water retention i also like to lie down put my feet up the wall socks or clean feet and uh, just keep your feet up the wall for about 20 minutes that really does a lot i got this tip from loni jane um, i also follow her on instagram and drinking a lot of water because you need a lot of fluid to help your body flush out toxins and not retain hold on to anything and of course sweating like working out going to the steam to the sauna things like that so I feel like those are the go-to um go-to things all right uh, what do you eat when you crave something savory love your content thank you so much um this question is from anna um so i usually have avocado toast or something like gluten-free pasta or i love my roasted potatoes things like that when i want something super savory um yeah <laughs> i never really crave any vegan junk food like chips or uh any packaged vegan uh salty foods that's just the way it is <laughs> um what is your favorite thing about your career um i think my favorite thing about my career is the ability to connect with people um to be able to inspire you guys to take care of your body your health your mind eating healthier uh, focusing on nourishing your body and you will automatically do much better in every other aspect of life when you feel healthy and fit and balanced and when you feel yourself when you're really at ease with yourself and um yeah I, I think that's my favorite thing to be able to reach that many people and to spread a good message and to have a positive impact in people's life hopefully <laughs> when was the last time you ate meat so i have been kind of vegetarian vegan on and off before going fully vegan like uh, almost six years ago i remember i went to this burger grill on union square market with my little brother when he came to visit me in new york and i had a burger there i just remember because there's a picture of the both of us eating a burger there if i look at it now it seems so weird like i couldn't just imagine myself having meat but yeah, it's just personal preference and um, not judging anyone here. It was eight years ago. Oh my God, time flies. How to stay positive in these crazy times? 
I totally feel you. Honestly, I am naturally a very positive person, I would say, but still during this uh, time, I have my ups and downs and sometimes I don't know, I had like a bit problem sleeping, but I'm doing much better now. Taking my CBD oil regularly, this helped me a lot, I have to say, and also staying organized as much as possible. So just keep on living your day-to-day -day life. And I also have to say, life did not change that much for me. Today, like I used to work from home. I love to be home. Um, I do lots of things from home. I cook, I take my pictures here, I record, I edit, I do my emails, I do my computer work, I do all my uh, computer work and customer service for Kara Swim. I do so many things from home that I, yeah, life really didn't change that much for me, if that makes sense. Um, the only thing that really changed is not going to the gym, which, so I switched to home workouts, which I'm doing with you guys on Instagram every day. I also got this Peloton bike, <laughs> my boyfriend gave it to me. You should really uh, take advantage of being home more now and do all the things we never have time for, like, you know, tidying up and organizing your closet, eating healthy food, uh, working out, reading a lot, establishing a self-care routine, all these things. So I I think the more you do of that, the more positive you are. As relationship advice, you and your boyfriend are super sweet. Um, okay, so we have been together for nine years, which is such a long time. I think we are really good with um, giving each other space, like even if we are together a lot because we see each other literally all the time, we still feel like we can be alone while being together, if that makes sense. So we still get all our stuff done. Um, he respects what I have to do, I respect him, we never judge, like we live completely different lifestyles in terms of food and it really works, like we eat completely different but we still eat together. Uh, most of the time I cook different food for him and the big thing is we are not trying to change each other one thing that's very important I think in general for a healthy relationship like we all our core values are the same and I think even though we're very different we're also very similar in a way I don't know how to explain it. What does Pear do for a living? So Pear is my boyfriend. So he works in finance, and which is completely different to what I do, but I find it super interesting as well. Um, so he's mainly investing in stocks. Um, and yeah, but he can also work from home and kind of from anywhere, which uh, is perfect for me as I am doing the same. Okay, this is a good follow-up question. Are you investing any money in real estate or stocks? Um, so yes, I started uh, actually already like now a year ago investing in some stocks. Um, of course, I have good help from here um, and not in real estate, but uh, yeah. What's your favorite thing about um, being healthy? Um, so for me, I used to have really like ups and downs and feel like um, I got kind of depressed in the end um, living in New York and modeling and from that time I just I always wanted to be super balanced and have energy every day and you know not um, have those ups and downs and from eating the way I have been eating the last years I, I got very stable and balanced and I think that's my favorite thing to balance. Have you ever struggled with an eating disorder? Um, so I wouldn't say I was anorexic or something like that, but I think I was, I kind of had like orthorexia, which is when you are obsessed with eating healthy. And I also struggled a lot with the pressure of thinking I had to be super, super skinny to be liked by a few people, or I think that whole mindset just came from modeling. Um, so I definitely had a messed up thinking um, in that sense. I just didn't really eat that balanced um, and stick to mainly fruits and uh, greens and things like that. But yeah, I also made a video about um, my struggles with body image and all of that. So if you're interested in hearing more, I link that below. Okay, next one is, are you happy? So I have to say, yes, I am very happy at the moment. I, even like right now, being at home a lot, I feel super grounded and I have everything I need here. I, I feel very happy. <laughs> Why did you start using salt? So I recently started to use a bit of pink Himalayan salt for my salads and things like that. And I honestly, very, very honest, there's no reason behind it. I just saw it and I thought, hmm, actually, why, 
why not using a little bit so i bought it and pink himalayan salt is higher in minerals than regular like white um, refined like cooking salt so i would recommend if you are using salt use pink himalayan salt um but i don't know why i haven't been using it for so long do you ever have food guilt okay so i am very very glad that i don't have that um like i used to have it before when i would eat things i don't eat often i would feel guilty or if i ate quite a lot i would think i like i mess up my day or my routine or had to work out more the next day and it's just a thing of getting older and caring less but i really don't have that anymore in that sense even if i eat quite a lot i still go back to my usual routine the next day i don't have that cycle of overeating and then under eating and all of that i eat very intuitively and whatever i'm craving i have it like before i used to think if i was craving bread or pasta or sweets or anything like that i would postpone it day after day until i was like ah oh, now i really need it and nowadays it's just like if i crave it i have it and then i'm fine and that's what i would recommend everyone because otherwise you're just like you know postponing your cravings it's getting worse and worse so yeah make sure also from the beginning that you're having a balanced diet so you're not lacking of any food groups and you're really getting everything you need so you have less cravings um already but um i don't have that food guilt like i used to have it when are you getting married um so right now we are just getting all the legal stuff done um but we don't have a set date we were thinking um end of this year but now with the whole situation is probably changing so yeah probably next year the thing is like we have been living together for nine years so we don't really have that rush and we feel like nothing would change for us we won't do a big wedding because pear really doesn't like a big wedding he doesn't like to be in the center of attention and i really understand that so we were just going to do something super small probably in munich um but yeah so I guess it's going to be next year. Kept your workouts due to where you are in your cycle. Um, so I would say it's just very naturally. Like if I feel a bit tired, I work out. I don't work out. I work out less. I just do like stretching and things like that. Actually, it's more like the days before my period. I feel a bit more sluggish and not as energized and not as motivated to work out. And during my period, I actually feel fine. I work out um, normally. I do my spinning, my HIIT workouts, running and home workouts with you guys so yeah but i would just say go how you feel obviously and always listen to your body if you need rest then take your rest for sure how often do you do intermittent fasting so i would say i do it five out of seven days um yeah it's very easy for me i don't eat after around eight i'm done with dinner and then the next day i start to eat around uh, i would say between 12 and two o'clock so i get an easy um, 16 to 18 hour fast and there's some days i do a 20 hour fast and there are some days i don't do any fast it's just very naturally the way i feel but my mornings are way more productive with just you know doing doing stretching doing going straight into doing getting work work done um, and doing my workout with you guys and all of that that's already 12 o'clock or two o'clock <laughs> last one and then we're done um, how did you become okay with gaining weight so this is a very difficult one for a lot of girls I think but for me I ha really had a good reason I just really wanted to get my period back I want to be able to have children later on and I just want to know that my body is okay that I'm fully healthy and that was my big big reason behind that and if you, I think if you have a good reason easier to reach your goal if you have a goal you know what I mean if that makes sense um, and I just think body wise I mean I'm still like I'm not feeling like 100% every day some days I feel you know just better some days I don't feel as good I think it's totally normal and I also fluctuate in weight like two three kilos more and less from time to time and I think we need to find our good middle healthy natural weight have to accept that take some time to get used to it like the first few months i didn't feel comfortable at all i was actually didn't feel like taking any pictures for instagram and i had like kind of pressure because you know people are expecting me to post every day and not a lot of that but you're getting used to it and i think it just takes a bit of time but never forget why you're doing things sometimes you have to gain a bit more weight in the beginning and then you get it back and then you can you know maybe lose a bit of weight again and find your natural like natural body weight 
<laughs> so this was my q and I hope the video is not too long. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below. I try to reply to everyone. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Caroline Deisler and um, subscribe to my channel here. I always love to see new faces and grow this awesome community here, connect with you guys. Um, so sending you all a big hug and kiss and see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.